Grabs Racing. Went to the Winter Blast last night. Had a good time. Had a lot of people come out. Uh, wife, James, my mother-in-law's in town. She came to her first race. She had a ball. Brooks, of course. Chris, Beth, and their kids. Um, all hanging out. Chris brought his Camaro, but he snapped uh, blew the rear end up. First pass. Didn't even get to make a full hit, which is a bummer. Uh, he had a call out or a, a race set up with somebody and uh, they didn't get to get, get to do that. So, Oh well. We got to make three test passes and we'll go over the logs of that in a minute. We had a bunch of wheelie problems. Uh, we'll show you what we tried to do to fix that. Some worked, sometimes it didn't. The track was super sticky. Uh, we played around with the shocks a little bit. We're having a problem with the belt. I think we discussed this last time with the belt kicking off. Uh, it kicked off, the the big belt kicked off every time last night. Um, that's the belt that goes around the alternator and the water pump, the crank. And it's got an idler and a tension uh, pulley. And I think we're having some problems with the tension tensioner pulley. So we're probably going to go to Summit later today and pick up... Uh, Several people told me I could get a manual tensioner on there, and that would help us. Uh, we didn't spin the RPMs high. You know, I thought it was something to do with the RPMs, but I really think that tensioner is kind of weak. So we're going to look into that. Uh, we need to get the limiters in before Redemption. I don't know. You know, Redemption is no prep, so I'm on the fence about the limiter, kind of. But we need it anyways because you know, Denton's where we run, and we can't be doing that. Uh... Anyhow, let's go over the test passes real quick. So the first pass here, <clears throat> you can see the wheelie. Um, I never wheelie like that. I felt it come up, and then it started coming up more, and so I just let out, chicken-footed. Uh, and then <laughs> you can see Dwayne Biddle in the other lane. He wheelied all the way and bounced all the way. And I swear I saw his front wheels bounce across the finish line. It's one of the logs here. Let's see. <clears throat> Get this spread out just a little bit more. We leave on nine pounds. Looks like. And it goes into the wheelie, and I stayed in for a good little bit, and then let out trying to bring the front end down. The front end finally comes down about 1.6 seconds into the run, and uh, I just coast through to a seven something. One second. Did you see this? Wait, one more time. What am I doing? <laughs> this was a little better. I still believe I, I lift here in this pass. Let's see. Yeah, you can see I lift here. The green is the TPS. And this red line here is uh, where I let go of the button at. So we left on about eight pounds. It did a little wheelie and I pedaled it. And the front end comes down, down here in the blue. This is the front, VSS is the front wheel, VSS two is the front wheel speed. And the white, VSS one is the rear wheel speed. Uh, and we played with something here in this pass. You can see this yellow up here is the, the timing. And you can see this little triangular chunk out of it. And down here, I've got this yellow set up on launch timed retard. And what that does in, let's look in Tuner Studio real quick. O Tune. Uh, desktop. Winter Blast. 
this is uh, row number two. We put in a boost delay. No, we put in a, sorry. We put in a timed retard after launch. And this just takes out a little bit of timing. Five degrees, uh, I believe over 0.5 seconds. And uh, we're trying to use that to keep the wheelies down. You could saw in the video it worked a little better. And I pedaled and I was getting disgruntled and getting kind of a little, a, a little down over this pedaling and this wheelie stuff. And uh, I felt like, man, if I could just make one pass or maybe go back to the old tune-up just to make a good clean hit. Because I feel like well, since we started wheeling, I haven't ever had a, a good solid run. Anyhow, this pass, let me see where we're at here. Our slips. This pass got our best mile an hour. It's 136. Uh, 130, 60 foot, not so good. And I believe that's, you know, that's just a pedaling. And we had added some weight, maybe 10 pounds to the front um, to try and keep the front end down. And this pass looked okay, uh, aside from this, this little pedal here. We'll see how long this was out of the gas. Like about 0.7 seconds, which is not too much. Max boost 29.8 at a second in. I'm already out at a second in, so just not much to say about that. It made 25 pounds, so it was on its way up. Anyhow, <clears throat> rolling on to the next one. This will be our last test pass. Here there's a note, uh, test number three, we added weight and 11 clicks into the rebound. So we added probably five more pounds in there and uh, a couple of clicks of, or I think it was maybe a single click of rebound. And uh, this pass got me feeling good again. I was like, man, I can go. Uh, let's see, I started to log a little early. There's no lift here. You can see we moved the timing, uh, the retard out a little bit. So we moved it out to start half a second and go and end it at, at, at the one second mark. So let's look at the tune real quick. I'll show you that. Oh, this is annoying having to click through here every time. Winter Blast. Then my throat's raw. It's kind of tore up from yelling. I'll tell you about that here in a minute. It's a timing retard. So here it starts at, a, at half a second out. We pull 8 degrees and then we ramp it back in. In between 5, 0.5 and 1 second. And this helped. You see in the video that I made a clean pass. Um, green TPS does not show any chicken foot. Anyhow. Here I don't think we gave it much more boost. 10 pounds look like or 9. At about nine, and then you see this is my timing. Pull this big old chunk out of it here. It dips down to uh, ten, look like ten and a half. Then it ramps it back in, and that uh, helped keep the front end down. At a second, we still made twenty-seven and a half pounds of boost, but that timing, I guess, helped keep the the front end down. It worked. The wheel's still up. You see in the blue down here in the VSS-1. Um, 1.36 seconds out. Or 1.39. And it rolled out. Made 29 pounds. And here's something interesting. It shifted right there at 6,500. And we only dropped down to like 62. So we're only seeing a 300 RPM drop on the shift. And then we hold 28 pounds pretty much the whole way and uh oh i know what happened here the belt blew off i was looking at it thinking what happened to the belt you see here the foot's still in the gas but the rpm start falling off here at uh 4.2 seconds so the belt blows off 
This was the fastest ET pass the car has ever made. The 124 60 foot, it went 330 to the 60 or 330, which we needed bad. But you see it only mile an hour on 122. In the last pass, it went 136. We lost a ton of mile an hour, even though we went our best ET. I would have loved to seen this run all the way out. Um, so we got to get the belt fixed. Uh, if the main belt kicks off the alternator and the water pump, we can still run, but sometimes it takes out the belt drive belt and uh, then it just kills the car, as you can see here. So that's it for the uh, for our uh, test runs. Next up, you'll see uh, round one. And uh, we had heard Stefan making passes, and that was my call out for uh, round one. And uh, he was doing wheelies. We saw him doing giant wheelies down the track. Anyhow, uh, you can see the picture here. So check back on the next video. Uh, we'll see how it goes down with Stefan. And uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.